Well, good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, and we're taking Dale to work. But first, we gotta figure out what's going on with that garage door. Well, there it is, guys. There's Dale with its new engine, new exhaust, and new transmission, and boys, doesn't it work good. Uh, we've got it back here at the shop today, and some of the things that we're gonna be concentrating on are getting the overdrive hooked up, because we did not do that yet, getting the fuel gauge hooked back up and the speedometer, as well as getting the new tack installed so we can see where we're revving on this thing uh, when we're maybe doing some shenanigans or something. Anyways, let's take a quick walk around so you guys can get a really good sound of this exhaust and that cam when it's just sitting out here in the open. And man, don't those AP accelerator mufflers sound awesome on this truck. We're gonna do some sound clips eventually, uh, getting this thing on the highway, getting some rolling shots, uh, so you guys can hear just exactly how good this thing sounds when it's rolling down the road. So anyways, we're gonna go inside and get started on tinkering with Old Dale and tuning this thing up so she works A1. So we've got Old Dale out here at the shop um, at home and tonight we're gonna try and tackle a few of the little things we need to cross off our list so the first thing I want to do is the choke right now we do not have an electric choke although there is one on the carburetor we cut the wires when we took it off the old Mopar so we've got to ground this one out as well as we've got to get the power to it and it's just keyed power and I have found keyed power over here at the wiper switch. So that's what we're gonna tap into. So let's get it done. So I've got my handy dandy CalHawk wire strippers that I got from a tool heads crate. And we're gonna use this to strip the wire. So we're gonna take this and plug it into our electric choke. And then there's a wire, wire loom. We're gonna run it up around there and then back out here into our plug-in. So we'll take our test light over to the choke and make sure that it is getting power on the key. And it is, so we should be good. Okay, so we've got the live wire ran for the choke. We've also got it grounded and uh, I tested it. Everything seems to be working fine. So now we're gonna go underneath the truck and we've gotta reconnect our fuel line because I did have to cut that because uh, it was part of the main harness uh, coming down to the starter and up into the uh, engine bay here. So I'm going to get the truck jacked up. We'll go underneath and we'll splice that back in with some heat shrink and keep everything all weather protected. And I'll be right back with you. All right, so we crawled underneath the truck and we got that fuel gauge wire connected again. Let's check it out and make sure it's working. Okay, so here's the fuel gauge. It's reading way, way past full. So it should go back to at least the F mark because I did fill it up yesterday. And it looks like it's going back. And I'd say we can call this one a win. So the only gauge that we have left to figure out inside the cab here is the Speedo. Now, we had it working with the 350 transmission. Now we've got to get it working with the 700R4. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but we will have to get it back to the shop tomorrow and get it up in the air because there's two things related to the transmission that we've got to do. And one is the overdrive, and the second is getting that speedo looked after. So when we come back, we'll be at the shop, get this thing up in the air, and we'll be wiring up our lockup for our 700R4, as well as seeing what's wrong with that speedometer. So we've got a bunch more wiring done on the truck this afternoon. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna do a few tests with the lockup torque converter. 
and all that stuff. But while we're doing that, we're gonna get some rolling shots with the help of my family. So let's hit the road. Fine tuning on that uh, kick down cable, you get a little more kick now. So guys, before we finish out this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Eric over at Square Body Goons, who put on a little contest on Facebook, and all you had to do was guess a number between 1 and 80, I believe it was, and well, nobody guessed the number, but I came the closest, so he sent me out a couple of stickers, and I'm going to take one of them, and I'm going to put it on Dale, and the other one, I think... I'm going to put on the back of my laptop because it's a place that I collect stickers there as well. So I'm thinking that the square body goons in the Chevy, whatever you want to call it, font, uh, is the one that we're going to choose to go on the back of Dale. So as long as this comes apart here fairly simply, and it does, we're going to stick it right here beside United by Trucks. So, if you don't follow Square Body Goons on Instagram and Facebook, you better go do that now because he does a lot of this sort of thing and uh, sends things out and they post a pile of really good looking trucks. So thanks a lot, Eric, for putting on that contest and sending out these stickers. As soon as I get some of mine, I will be sending some off to you as well. And that'll do it for this episode of Old Car Guy. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video. There will be a lot more to come once we get everything fine-tuned. Now, this morning I did take the timing light and set the timing up on Dale, and it is spot on. Uh, it starts when it's warmed up right on the key. The choke is working, and the lockup on the 700R4 is working just as it should. I can't wait to get this thing aligned on Tuesday. That way I can start hitting the road and doing some road trips and making sure that we're getting the proper mileage that I feel that we are and get some miles under this engine and, and uh, see if we uh, you know, have some trouble free driving this summer. Uh, the next step that we're going to be doing on this truck probably will be a few little things like get the air conditioning fixed. I'd like to get the windows tinted. Um, I'd like to get some wheels on it. So those are some things that will be coming up uh, in the near future. So guys, stay tuned to uh, Old Car Guy for those in the meantime. Thursday evenings, check us out, Car Guy and Six Fan. We have a show that we talk about cars and we have guests and uh, we're coming up on the end of season three. So Grant, Tommy and I, who is straight Six Fan, host the Car Guy and Six Fan show. Uh, we have a lot of fun. So uh, join us live Thursday evening, seven o'clock central, eight Eastern and nine my time. Uh, it's something we just have a lot of fun with and a lot of success we usually get anywhere from you know 30 40 50 people in the chat at any given time uh, and we have a lot of fun so don't uh, don't hesitate don't stop and if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook you'll know exactly uh, when those shows will go live so I end every video with stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror I love you guys God bless we will see you in the next video